Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a Facebook uh, style uh, status update. So it's just like the uh, Facebook one. So we can just put in our uh, status, maybe anything you want. And then uh, we'll share our status and we have the upload uh, icon up here just like on Facebook. And uh, after you input your text and we hit submit, we're going to put this back to uh, whatever you want to put in here. I just put so what's on your mind. And then what we do is we uh, we prepend this what our message is right here. And then we get the username of the uh, current user if you use uh, session or uh, cookies whatever way you gather your uh, user's name uh, that's displayed right here and uh, the link you can make go to their profile page and uh, their picture uh, you can do a link to their picture I didn't do it on this tutorial but you can if you want and uh, you can also make uh, this a link uh, a clickable link to uh, go to their profile as well and then we get the current date um, <clears throat> we're gonna get the current date from the user's computer uh, using JavaScript. Um, now the only uh, problem with using that is if the uh, user's date is incorrect or the time that's what we're gonna get except uh, this is the only way we can get the current user's time and uh, that's, that's like how they do it on uh, Yahoo chat so uh, this is a pretty easy way to get it and you can format it just about any way you want. Um, we don't have the like uh, link working yet or the comment. I'm going to do that in a later tutorial. So right now um, we can just do another one. Okay. And I'm also using a plugin for the uh, expanding uh, text box. Okay. Now we're just going to keep uh, adding. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the uh, code for this. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to do is include the um, latest version of jQuery, which uh, is currently 1.4.4. And um, the next thing we're going to do is include the elastic plugin that makes the uh, text box elastic, um, just like Facebook. Next thing, we're going to include the status.css file, which is our uh, style sheet for this page. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to start with a uh, jQuery function. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to call the uh, elastic plugin. Okay, uh, for the input box, and we're going to set the CSS of the box height to 30 pixels. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is the uh, input box, which is your status update box. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set so when you click it, um, the text that you put in there which I put uh, so what's on your mind uh, that'll disappear I'll just show you. okay so the text is in here when we click it disappears okay that's what we're gonna do right now so what we're gonna do I'm not gonna explain this whole thing I'll just do this in another tutorial because this uh, is this is basically just to show you how do you do a uh, status update like Facebook so basically all this does <clears throat> is when you click on it it makes it disappear and when you click off of it it makes it come back okay and uh, what we do is when you click when you click on it we're gonna do the text color uh, uh, black and then um, what <clears throat> the um, text you have in there we're gonna set it to uh, a lighter gray uh, I used 80 80 80 so it's it's a lighter color 
So when we click on it, we're going to type our status, it's going to be black. And then when we off click it and we put our text back in that box, it's going to be 80. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is Okay, I'm just going to show you um, what we're going to do is the share ID is going to be on our, um, well, let me find it, right here, okay, now this is our uh, share <clears throat> button. Now I had another tutorial that shows you how to make the Facebook uh, buttons, uh, make buttons using uh, CSS to make them look just like Facebook buttons. And that's that's what I'm using in the, right here. So when we click this button that says share, what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna, we're gonna use a click fun function Okay, and this right here is going to get the date. Okay, this is going to get the the user's uh, um, date and time. Okay, I'm not going to explain what all this does, but you can you can read up on this. It's just using JavaScript to get the date, uh, the current time, and uh, you can just go in here in the array, and we can make this uh, January. I just abbreviated them but you can put them to whatever you want and then down here you can um, format them however you want like you can put if you don't want at you can change that like on here I have a January 6th at 10 13 p.m. now we can make this p.m. capital uh, we can get rid of the time uh, we can get rid of the date and uh, I just made a tutorial on uh, PHP time ago and you can use that in here as well if you wanted and uh, in fact on the newer one uh, the next tutorial I make on this I'm probably gonna add that in there and that'll just say uh, um, this would be like four minutes ago so you can just change that to whatever you want okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show uh, the loading image uh, that I showed you on the main page so when you click uh, <clears throat> when you click share um, we're gonna show that loading icon uh, the loading image up to the right just like Facebook and then we're gonna get <clears throat> we're gonna get the input box value and we're gonna put it into a variable called status okay and then what we're gonna do is if the status equals our text in the box which is so what's on your mind which is this right here so if it equals that and somebody hits share it's not going to update because we don't want them to be able to update that so that is why we put this right here so if it equals this what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to hide the loading and we're not going to do anything else okay now if you wanted you could put an alert box in here or you could put a message in there um, please enter some text or something but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do uh, we're just gonna hide the loading so else so if, if, if status doesn't equal this okay we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna take that status uh, variable and the date which is right here Okay, that's the current time. That's what I formatted it to. We're going to get that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to post this to statusupdate.php. Okay, I'll show you that file in a minute. And then on a success, what we're going to do is the data is going to be prepended to. Okay, now why I use prepend to and not append to. So what this is going to do is this is going to put what we get from that status update file and we're going to prepend that to load status out okay which is right here and what that's going to do is 
every everything we get from uh, status update.php it's gonna if if I just use the pen here's what would happen let's just let's share five okay now that five would not be on top it would be on the bottom of our list and Ness I used a list which I'm not doing that I'm just using divs okay so if I use a list I could just do that to do the first uh, list okay and then it would display that so that's why I so what, what that's going to do is that'll just put it on it's going to put the uh, uh, data on top okay of the when you update it it's going to put it on top of all your status updates so it'll be the most recent one's going to be on top and then what we're going to do is slide down slow okay the next thing we're going to do is loading we're going to hide the loading uh, image and then the input box okay this is where we get the status uh, um, text whatever text you put in there from the status okay here's what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get the val we're gonna put the we're gonna set the value to so what's on your mind okay and then we're gonna put the CSS back to 80 okay and then um, the height we're going to put back the 30 pixel. So, uh, I don't need to do that. But, uh, okay, that's fine. So, what we do is after we, we instead of setting the value normally on a text field, um, when you submit a form, what we would do is just set the value to nothing. So, it would clear the whole form. Okay, but we don't want to do that. We want to set that back to... Uh, so what's on your mind so that's what we'll do okay and and that's that's about it for here